you have to drop off your car before you actually get into Venice. This is where you do that. Hey guys, I'm Juliette at Charleston Chicken Venice. I spend a lot of time on this magical island and now I'm taking what I've learned from my experiences and from the locals and passing it on to you. I have a little secret. Despite what you might have heard, cars are allowed in Venice. Sort of. Here are my three insider tips for parking in Venice. Number one, Piazzale Roma. At the end of Ponte della Liberta, the four kilometer bridge slash road connecting the island of Venice with the mainland, you'll find Piazzale Roma, Venice's main transport hub on the very western edge of the city. Cars are not allowed past this point. You have to drop off your car before you actually get into Venice. This is where you do that. You drop your car off and you can park it over there. But the whole key is that you have to get to this island somehow drop off whatever transportation you came in and then you get to go onto the island. There is a parking lot here, but it's always packed and it's really, really expensive. Number two, Tronchetto Island. Save yourself some money and turn off just before Piazza Le Roma at Tronchetto, a man-made island with a huge parking structure. Then jump on the people mover for your quick four-minute ride to Piazza Le Roma, where you can then jump on a water bus, water taxi, or just walk to your destination. And number three, Mestre. Or just leave your car in Mestre and jump on the train for a 10-minute ride to Venice's Santa Lucia station. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh,